Good evening and a very warm welcome to Herschel Grammar School and our very first virtual open evening. I'm Jo Rockall, the head teacher. We are hoping this will run very smoothly, but please forgive us any technical hitches. We will answer some questions at the end of our presentation, which you can ask via the Q&A function. I'd really encourage both parents and children to ask questions, and it would be helpful if we knew whether you are a parent or a child. We are going to begin this event with our new school film, which we've commissioned especially for this virtual event. And I will speak again to you afterwards. Hello and welcome to Herschel Grammar School. We are a selective school for boys and girls offering an excellent education. Our pupils are drawn from Slough and the wider area, including West London. We offer excellent facilities both for sports and for academic life. This film is designed to give prospective pupils and the wider community a feel for day to day life at Herschel. Our vision for the school, which we aim to live actively every day, is as a caring and inclusive community. We value each member of that community and encourage their contributions to school life. Our curriculum is characterised by a richness and a depth of understanding and knowledge. And it is this that helps to equip our young people with the skills that they need for life beyond school. We encourage independence and a love of learning and we work in partnership with pupils, parents, governors and staff to make sure that we live our values, success, responsibility and care. We are very proud of the progress our young people make. We are consistently in the top 10% of schools nationally for progress measures. But we're not complacent. We seek always to develop and improve and make sure that our pupils can flourish. I'd like to hand over now to our head boy, Lakshay Talwa, and our head girl, Preet Bamra. Hi, I'm Lakshay Talwa, the head boy at Herschel Grammar School. Hi, my name's Preet Bamra and I'm the head girl at Herschel. In year seven, I came to Herschel without friends alongside me from primary school, but I've now become part of an inclusive school community where everyone supports each other. From the start, you're welcomed into an amazing community where everyone actively gets involved in so many events. As well as being encouraged to pursue academic success, we're also encouraged to pursue any hobbies or interests we have. Herschel's diverse nature has made running my own Bhangra Society the highlight of my experience because it's allowed me to showcase my passion for dancing and my culture. I've played netball in our amazing sports facilities for the last six to seven years and it's been a really great way to take a break from schoolwork and also relax and make friends. Being in the cricket team for the last six years has taught me teamwork and it was an amazing experience to win trophies for our school. Race for Life and Sports Day are just two of the events I look forward to every year. It's really nice to see everyone get involved and it makes you feel like you're part of something so much bigger than just yourself. Through Young Enterprise, I've been able to run a fully functional business with students who are now my closest friends, which has always been something I've wanted to do. I think it's amazing the way our teachers bring lessons to life and inspire students to learn. That's been one of the major reasons why I've chosen to study economics at university. Teachers are always encouraging us to keep in contact with them to raise any concerns within the classroom or even outside the classroom. They give us plenty of advice, regularly check up on us and are always a first point of contact whenever we have any concerns. Mental health is definitely prioritised at Herschel. We're given so many portals and resources to help voice any worries we may have. Having a teacher that has seen me develop over the years and understands me is so beneficial because I feel more comfortable in talking to them and they are better able to help me in any situation. There are also so many trips and experiences that you can have within your school career. Going to Cornwall in year eight to do water sports for a week was incredible because I was completely out of my comfort zone and got to do something that I might never have done otherwise. I remember in year seven, I went on a bushcraft trip for a week in the summer and we got to bond with people and make so many new friends. I definitely learned so many new skills that can't just be learned from a textbook or within a classroom. The school is really great at encouraging you to succeed and creating that drive for success. I will now pass over to Mrs Barton, who is head of Year 7 at Herschel and looks after all the new students in their first years at the school. 
What I love about my role as a Head of Learning for Year 7 is getting to know the students really quickly and ensuring the environment is happy, safe and comfortable for them. Hi, I'm Mrs Barton and I'm the Head of Learning for Year 7. Herschel will be different to primary school because it's a lot bigger, you study a lot more subjects, you have different teachers for every subject and you get the chance to meet a lot of new people and make friends. You will be fully supported through the transition process by attending an induction evening, an induction day. There will also be primary school visits, as well as opportunities for many team building and icebreaker activities to get to know your classmates very well. Some of the things that your child will love about Herschel include making medieval castles in history, learning about animal and plant cells in biology, and exploring the range of materials that can be used to make trophies in technology. The qualities that I most want Year 7 pupils to develop are independence, resilience and self-confidence. I have been most proud of Year 7s when I have seen them guiding parents around school with great confidence, helping others when they are struggling and being fully involved in the extracurricular timetable that school put on offer. Ofsted said that pupils thrive in the school's academic yet caring and secure environment. They also said that teachers are enthusiastic, passionate and inspirational. That is why Herschel Grammar is outstanding. And I'll now hand you over to our current Year 7s, Queen and Yusuf. Hello, my name is Queen Essien and I'm a Year 7 student of Herschel Grammar School. Hi, my name is Yusuf and I am a Year 7 Herschel Grammar student. On my first day at Herschel Grammar School, everyone was really nice and helped me get around the school really easily. The first few weeks at Herschel are really good because you get to clear out any awkwardness in your class. I was nervous at first because it's a really big school and I thought I was going to get lost, which I did, but the older kids were really supportive and they helped me around the school. You get to meet new people and make new friends and the canteen food is really, really nice. It was really fun getting to know everyone in that first few weeks. Lessons at Herschel are fun and interesting, especially in the computer room, because we get one computer to ourselves. They're really different from primary school. Like lessons like science, we get to do lots of in experiments and use really interesting equipment like Bunsen burners, because playing with fire is fun. I like lessons like music because we get to have conversations about different music genres and how we like them. We know that the teachers care about us because if we have anything we need to ask them or any problems that we need sorting out, they'll do it straight away. They always encourage us to come to them if, they have a, if we have a problem or if anything's bothering us. And teachers who are really funny make the environment really comfortable for us to learn. There is more to Herschel than just lessons. There are many sporting activities which are really great, which you can work with other people in team sports and we also like to do competitions with other schools. Elite Club is where you get your homework done uh, with help in the library every Friday. There are also indoor activities like Film Club and Minecraft Club where you can spend time with friends doing things that you enjoy. Knowledgeable, spontaneous and helpful are the three words that I would use to describe my teachers. Three words I would use to sum up my teachers are funny, supportive and comforting. We hope our contribution has been helpful and now back to Miss Ruckle to sum up and say goodbye. I would like to thank all the members of the community that have helped to make this film. They are very typical of our wonderful staff and pupils. I hope they have given you a real insight into what it is like to be part of our community and I hope very much to see all of you in person soon. I hope that you've enjoyed the film and that it's given you a flavour of the school community in the absence of being able to see it for yourself. We know that finding the right school for your child is one of the most important decisions that you will make and this evening is designed to make that decision a little easier for you. For the current academic year in the context of returning to school after lockdown, we are prioritising the provision of a safe sense of normality for our pupils, staff and wider community. We are going to make sure that we overcome the challenges and make sure that that seems possible. And we are showing the way forward and finding solutions. 
but in the hope that by the time your children start secondary school, life will have, have more normality than it does now, I'm going to share the school's broader aims. Firstly, the well-being and welfare of our, our pupils is paramount. I'm sure that you want to be confident that your child will be safe and happy as well as successful. One of the most frequent compliments Herschel receives is how nurturing it is. It is a relatively small school and therefore it's easy for, you, for us to know your child well. We often refer to our close community as the Herschel bubble before the word bubble became more common parlance. And once our pupils walk through our doors each day, they are safe and cared for. Fundamentally, the key to ensuring pupils are able to learn is to develop really good relationships between staff and pupils. We all work better if we feel valued and respected, and that's what we do so well here at Herschel. Pupils have a form tutor and a head of learning, both of whom will work with your child on a daily basis. They are supported by strong senior leaders and also by our dedicated team of support staff. However, much of our caring ethos is due to the pupils themselves, as Ofsted commented when they rated us outstanding in all areas. The report is quite old now, but our annual pupil surveys and recent external assessments of the school all reinforce the verbal feedback from Ofsted, who were extremely complimentary about our pupils. They said that pupils were adamant that they felt safe in school, that they took responsibility for their own management and behaviour, and they do that very well. They said they have strong emotional intelligence and empathy for each other, that they have very good relationships with staff, and there's a high level of trust between pupils and staff. The pupils are excellent ambassadors for the school, and they're credit both to the school and to their parents. And many parents have told us the same thing. Alongside the pupil well-being, we aim to focus on excellent teaching and high pupil engagement. Ofsted said our staff challenged the pupils to think deeply about issues and form their own views. That staff have high expectations of pupils right from the beginning of year seven. Literacy and numeracy are well developed across subject areas and ICT supports the development of independent learning really effectively. They said that leadership and management of the school is strong, driven and ambitious to all levels. The spiritual, moral, social and cultural learning is promoted in all aspects of the school and pupils are provided with rich and memorable experiences. That continues to be the case, as is evident from the, the video you've just watched. Our staff are focused on delivering high quality lessons which use assessment and knowledge of individual pupils to inform planning. They have excellent subject knowledge and understanding of the curriculum, and this results in excellent uh, outcomes, which I will be talking about later. Our final overarching aim is to ensure the well-being and workload of staff. They are the single biggest resource that the school has and the single biggest influence on your child's educational success, and therefore ensuring their well-being and managing their workload are very important to us. We regularly remind pupils that we expect them to support their teachers by being prepared for the lessons, engaging actively in their learning, meeting deadlines and completing home learning to a high quality. We want to cut down on the amount of time that teachers spend chasing up so that they can focus on what really matters. And as parents, you can help us with this by making sure your child is in correct school uniform, is on time to school and attends regularly. It doesn't just help us, it's also excellent preparation for the world of work. So what else sets Herschel apart? Well, we focus on the whole child. The opportunities people have here are second to none, and I would encourage you to visit our website. The news and gallery sections showcase what our pupils get involved in. Herschel ensures that individuals are valued and rewarded and we can do that because of the teamwork and partnership between learners, parents, staff, governors and the community. And it is this which gives our pupils that all important head start when it comes to academic achievement. This summer, we have been celebrating great results, which despite having no exams, continue the upward trend in outcomes which we have been achieving over the last three years. 100% of our pupils achieve five, four to nine grades, 
including English math and maths. Herschel consistently achieves well above the national average as you would expect for a grammar school. In 2018, the national average for this measure was 67%. However, these figures will be very similar to the other grammar schools you may be looking at, whether in Slough or South Bucks. You would expect grammar schools to be achieving this. So a more important indicator is the percentage of top grades achieved. In 2019, 69% of all GCSEs taken here were graded 7, 8 or 9. That was up 17% on 2018. This year we achieved 77%, so a further increase of 8%. Our 9 to 8 grades alone increased from 28% in 2018 to 46% in 2019 and to 51% this year. You would expect bright pupils to attain very highly. However, Herschel staff do make sure our pupils exceed what is expected of them. In 2019, our Progress 8 measure was over one, and we think we have maintained that this year, although it's not validated yet. And what that means is that we are in the top 3% of schools for the Progress measure, and students on average achieve one grade higher than expected in each GCSE. You might notice from our published data that we have a lower percentage of pupils achieving the English baccalaureate than other local schools. To achieve the EBAC, pupils have to take a GCSE in a modern foreign language and then either history or geography. And at the moment, we don't insist that pupils have to take both, although they can if they wish to. Pupils have a free choice and that's why our percentage is lower. However, this has changed so that the current year 11 all take a modern foreign language and either history or geography or both, which means that our EBAC percentage next year will increase dramatically. At A level last year, 64% of grades were A star A or B, and this year we achieved 74%. Our A star to A grade percentage has also increased from 39% in 2019 to 47% this year. Both of these measures continue the steady rise in top grades, which has been our track record for the last four years. 15 students this year are moving on to medicine, dentistry and pharmacy degrees, and considerably more are going into medical related degrees. Many are going on to study other great subjects such as law, English, maths, accountancy, history, engineering, economics and computer science, and many, many more. In fact, virtually all the students had acquired their places at university, majority of which were in the Russell Group, which are in the UK's top universities. Others have gone on to very high quality apprenticeships. And this year, we are very easily recruited to all places in year 12. You can see here our top students this year. We know that the young people who leave Herschel after their seven years here will shape our 21st century society. They will need the resilience that comes from the good discipline that we practice here. Classes are calm, well planned and well managed. They will need the courage to try out new ideas and take risks. We very much adhere to the idea of a growth mindset, encouraging pupils to try and test ideas out, work with each other and learn from what works and what doesn't. They will also need the imagination and creativity to tackle new challenges and these qualities are fostered in classrooms and through the extracurricular opportunities that we offer. Finally, pupils will need the confidence to face an increasingly complex and challenging world, and our excellent pastoral and support systems allow each child to thrive. What sets Herschel apart is that it equips our young people with those skills and attributes that they need to succeed. So now on to the more practical information which Mrs Thorne, our admissions officer, is going to provide. Good evening, everyone. Children will sit the Slough Consortium 11 plus entrance examination the week beginning the 12th of October. Examination arrangements will be sent out by email to all registered, all registered children later this week. At Herschel Grammar School, our admissions policy gives priority to children living within the four miles of the school. And then the remaining places are allocated to children living outside of this area on rank order of school. As a guide, over the last few years, all eligible children within four miles have been offered places 
And in this time, we have been able to offer over 60 places to those children who live outside of this area. Please ensure you read our full admissions policy, on a, which is available on our website. Parents will need to complete their common application form by the 31st of October. This year, the results of the examination will be published after this date. So it is imperative that parents complete their choices in their true order of preference. Please place the grammar schools ahead of the non-selective schools, and we strongly advise that you include at least one non-selective school on your common application form. The results will be published on the Slough Consortium website when they are available. A score of 111 or above will mean that your child is eligible for consideration for a grammar school place. The allocation of places will be made by the local authorities on the 1st of March 2021. Children allocated a place at Herschel Grammar School will then receive an email confirming the offer. For those parents whose children are in current year five, information regarding the September 2022 entry will begin to appear on our website from the 1st of March 2021. Back to Mrs Rockall. Thank you, Mrs Thorne. We now have time for a few questions. We may not get to answer them all, but what we will do is produce a frequently asked questions document and put it in the admissions area of our website in due course. So I have some pupil um, questions here. Um, one pupil has, asked, has said that they like drama as well as academic subjects and wants to know if we do much drama. So you do have drama lessons and uh, one drama lesson a week um, in year seven, eight and nine, and we offer GCSE drama um, in years 10 and 11. We also do a number of school productions and the Shakespeare Schools Theatre, so you can get involved in extracurricular drama too. Another question from a pupil, is there any bullying? Well, all schools do experience some bullying, but what our pupils tell us when we survey them and when we talk to them frequently is that we have good systems in place for dealing with it and that they are happy with what we do in response to any bullying that they experience. Someone wants to know what language options we offer in years seven to nine. Um, so students can choose to, whether to do um, Spanish or French you choose um, at the beginning of uh, year seven and you continue that language all the way through year eight and nine. And then we offer both at GCSE. You can continue to do the one that you've studied at key stage three. Someone's really into sport and wants to know if we have a football team. Yes, we have football teams in every year group and we play matches against local schools. Um, we also have football clubs so that if you don't particularly want to play in the team, you can also get involved in football. In other ways, um, when we're not in uh, the current COVID situation, all pupils have access to the AstroTurf at lunchtime and break time and can play football um, informally there as well. Um, I have a, uh, a question for Amanda here. It's really difficult completing the CAF before we have 11 plus results. Can we change the CAF once we have the result? Yes, all parents are told to complete their common application form by the deadline of the 31st of October. So as long as you have completed your common application form, you can then edit your common application form up until the 10th of December, by which point you should have received the results for your 11 plus examination for your child. Um, a, a parent is asking what the latest Ofsted ratings for the school are. Um, we are outstanding in all areas. The report is uh, the inspection was undertaken in 2012. Uh, we are due um, an Ofsted inspection in the next. Well, it would have been this year. It depends what um, what happens with the COVID situation. Um, but we have had assessments from um, Ofsted inspectors uh, who have worked as consultants at the school and I believe that we will remain outstanding. A number of parents have asked about applying from out of area. Um, as Amanda has said, we take the first, um, 
we take all of the, the students from the um, four mile radius uh, into the school first, providing they have the eligibility mark and then we rank score the remaining places. And so it doesn't matter where you live for those particular places. Our pupil has asked what the difference between lessons in primary school and secondary school are. And the essential difference is that you will have um, lessons with subject specialists. So you'll have a range of different subjects um, across your week in uh, year seven, eight and nine, and it'll be each of those subjects will be with a subject specialist. So that's the essential difference between primary and secondary school. Social media policy is being asked about here by a parent. What's the social media policy for children? We have a, um, a pupil use of ICT policy that we ask pupils to sign up to at the beginning of the, the academic year. Um, they are allowed to bring mobile phones to school, which have to remain switched off um, in lessons and which um, uh, year seven and eight pupils are not allowed to use in their, uh, um, in their break times but they can have them at the beginning and the end of the, the school day. Um, there are a number of different um, issues around the, the social media policy, but that's available on our school website, so you can have a look at it there as well. Somebody's asking about online lessons during lockdown. We did a number of online lessons and lots of different ways of remote learning. Um, we did some live remote lessons with years 10 and 12 um, during the time um, leading up to them coming back to school for that short time in June and that's something we're developing. We will have our remote learning policy on the website by the end of September because that's required by the government. Somebody's asking about music facilities. Um, we have um, a, a music room and three practice rooms. We have peripatetic music lessons so teachers come into school to deliver instrumental lessons. Um, to the children if you um, wish to sign up for those. We have keyboards, we have a grand piano, we have a number of different instruments. So uh, pupils have a one music lesson a week during um, year seven, eight and nine. And we also have a choir and an orchestra that they can get involved in too. And we have 150 places in year seven. That's something that somebody's asked. We, a pupil has asked whether we have different classrooms for different subjects. Yes, we do. So you will be taught maths in maths rooms, science in labs, technology in the, the, the um, workshops, um, French in French rooms. So yes, lots of different um, classrooms that are um, specialist subject areas too. I have a pupil that's asking, um, that her, or commenting that Herschel seems very big and what would we do to help you settle into your new school? Well, we have a number of transition events in the summer term where we support you getting to know the, the school um, better. Um, we did a lot of that work with the current year seven in September and they've settled in really well. And um, there's lots of people around to help you to get to know your way around the school and we provide you with maps as well. Um, so they do settle in really quickly and um, very fast. Um, they, they work their way around the school and know where everything is. Uh, someone has asked how much homework there is. Um, so you'll have home learning in all of your subject areas, but um, about an hour a week for year seven an hour, um, in each subject. Uh, an hour a night um, on average, I suppose. Um, we do have our, when usual times, have our library and IT rooms open after school so that children can work in there if they want to uh, and at lunchtime too. And there's also a homework club called the Elite Club. Someone's asking about transport um, for children attending outside of Slough. If you look on our website, it does give you the, the routes for the transport that we run. So we do run a bus from Reading and we also run buses from um, West London, um, but the exact routes and stops are uh, on our website. 
Someone's asking about the length of the school day. So um, pupils are required to be in school by 8.25. That's when the bell goes and registration starts at 8.30. These, these are in normal times, not in COVID times at the moment. Um, and then the school day finishes at um, 2.50. Our extracurricular activities run after school. And as I said, um, we do have our IT rooms and the library open after school as well. So pupils can stay in school and do their home learning um, until five o'clock. We do have a school cricket team, yes, for each year group, and we compete like with football um, against other schools locally and um, and have fixtures with them. So it's a big school for cricket and there's lots and lots of um, pupils who are very, very interested in cricket. In terms of preparing for the 11 plus, there is um, material on our website. It's the same as on the other grammar schools website that can help you familiarise yourself with the 11 plus. That's that's all that's published by the um, test provider who are um, called CHEM. Year groups are separate. You're taught in, uh, in the year group um, in year seven or in year eight so that, that they don't mix but obviously in when we're in normal circumstances year groups mix at breaks at, and lunch times at the moment they're all in year group bubbles um, in order to um, reduce the transmission of the virus as much as we can There are lots of after school clubs. I've mentioned some in terms of the football and cricket, um, drama, music, Minecraft, I think it's mentioned on the video. Um, we try to respond to what the, the pupils want, but we have really strong dance and we have really strong gymnastics, uh, lots of different sports, in fact. And then there's science clubs and STEM competitions. We do maths challenges. We do um, young enterprise. We have Duke of Edinburgh from year nine. Um, lots and lots of different um, activities going on and if, if students want something in particular and we've got a member of staff willing to run it then we will put it on. At the moment we don't have options for parents to visit the school if if we are you know if, if the um, guidance is relaxed later on in the year we will try to do that but at the moment that that isn't possible. Um, we hope that the school video that we've just showed you, and there are two other videos on the website as well, give you a bit of an idea in terms of the facilities that we have here and um, and the, the you know the, in terms of a virtual tour of the school. Could you please tell us if you have cooking lessons? Yes, we do food preparation and nutrition. Um, and so all pupils have a rotation of, um, of, of food technology or food te preparation and nutrition in year seven, eight and nine. And then it's also a GCSE that's available um, to choose as well. They do make some lovely things and come out of school at the end of the day with their lunch boxes full of nice, yummy things. You have to fill in your com uh, common application form in the um, borough that you live in. So somebody's asking whether we, they go through Slough when they live in Ealing. No, you go through Ealing because um, that's where you fill your cap in. And then Ealing Borough Council and Slough Borough Council speak to each other with regard to your choices. And finally, yes, um, this uh, presentation will be recorded and it will be up on the website shortly. We've also got a number of questions that I haven't answered that we are going to respond to. And if you've got anything in particular that around the actual process of the common application form or the 11 plus, please do feel free to email Amanda Thorne. She is the oracle on all things um, 11 plus on CAF related. So thank you very much for attending this event and I hope it has provided you with an insight into the school. As I said, our current year sevens have really settled in well despite the strange start to the year. And in normal circumstances, they would be eagerly showing you around their school this evening. And I'm so sorry that you can't see it in action and experience what a wonderful place it is. You'll have to take my word for it. But do keep an eye out on our website. Um, if we are able to, produce, to provide additional opportunities, we will and we will let you know via the website. 
So thank you very much for attending and I wish you a good evening. Goodbye.